guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm finally filming another makeup look. Well, I've already filmed it actually, but um, I'm just doing like a get ready with me. I included my hair in this and stuff because I didn't really have time to sit down and do a talk through look, but I'm going to do a voiceover. I hope that that's cool. And um, anyway, this is what it looks like. I just did like, it's like an emerald green kind of smoked out liner look. And, um, if you want to see what, how I got it, then, um, keep watching. Okay, so first I'm just priming my eyes with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. And then I'm taking the Makeup Forever Volume 4 eyeshadow palette, yeah. And this really light off-white shade, and just blending it all over my eyelid to create a base. And now to darken up my crease just a tad bit. I'm adding a little bit of depth with this light nude shade and a fluffy brush. Now moving on to the eyeliner. I'm taking this Ardencian eyeliner and just putting it above my lash line. I know it looks like super messy, but that's because I'm just not taking the time because I'm going to blend right over top of it. So I put it on as quick as possible and then added some tape. And then I took this dark emerald green shade and a little tiny brush and just started making a wing. And then blending all of the eyeliner in with it. Now that I've finished blending all the color out, I'm just going back in with the eyeliner and darkening up the area closest to my lash line. This will just add some more volume and dimension. And of course, after I did that, I had to blend more with the little brush and then the big brush and just blend my whole entire eyelid over and over until I got it to the point that I liked. Moving on to my face, I took this Stila Aqua Go blah, blah, blah. This Stila Aqua Glow Perfecting Primer, and this is actually the first time I used it on my face. Um, I really like it. It's really refreshing. And so, yeah, I just blend that in with my hands before going in with foundation. Alright, since I know I'm going to be putting on a liquid lipstick later, I went ahead and put a lip balm on so my lips could be soaking up moisture. And then I went on to my foundation, which is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Luminous Foundation in shade 810, I believe. And I just worked in small sections all over my face and then kept applying more to build up to the coverage that I like. I finally got my hands on the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm not sure if this is the color I prefer. I think it's neutral instead of warm because they didn't have any of the shade that I thought I wanted, but they never have it online or they haven't been having it when I've checked. So I just went ahead and picked it up and this was the first time I used it. I really like it. It sets nicely and it has pretty good coverage. I think it doesn't cause my mascara to run or like mix with my eyeshadow on the bottom as well as badly, I mean, as some other concealers. So that's a big plus because that's my main complaints with concealers. And also, can we just talk about how white my face looks compared to my body? It does not look like that in person. I don't know if it's just the video or the fact that I sit in front of a window. But anyway, it looks the same in real life. And my makeup doesn't look that light in real life when I'm not in direct sunlight. But anyway, moving on. <laughs> I'm setting my face with a translucent shade in the Rainforest of the Seas Skin Twinkling Palette. Yes. And I just took a big powder brush and did that under my eyes. And then I took this sample that I got from Ulta. They put it in my bag and I first I thought I stole something. But anyway, this is the NARS Laguna Bronzer and I'm just taking it with an angled blush brush, I believe, and just adding some contour in the, uh, what do you call it, under my cheekbones, and then a little bit around my forehead and right under my jawline. Now 
Now taking the Smashbox Lighting and Contouring Palette, I believe is what it's called. I think I'm taking the shade Candlelight and it's blush and I'm just adding a little bit above my contour with another angled blush brush. And as you can see, I had to get up and find this Kabuki powder brush, but I went and found it and then I just blended out my cheeks more because I thought they were a little bit harsh, so I just used a light hand and blended them as much as I could. And then I went back in with the Skin Twinkling palette and I took the shade Sunlight and a fan brush and I just highlighted the tips of my cheekbones and right around my eyebrows. And then I took a smaller brush and used the same shade and highlighted the inner corners of my eyes and right below my brow bone. And then for my lower lash line, I took this same small shadow brush that I used on my upper lash line, which still had some product left on it. And then I put a little bit of the light brown shade on it as well, and then just ran that along my lower lash line. So some of the green got in it, but as it wasn't quite as harsh if I would have just used the straight green. Now for lashes, I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. This is also the first time I used it, and I liked it pretty well. Normally I stick to my favorite, which is Benefit Roller Lash, but anyway, I think that it turned out pretty good. Um, the whole time I was doing my lashes, I could not get the camera to focus, so I don't know how well you can really see it. But anyway, moving on, I just brushed through my eyebrows to get out any makeup that I get in them because I always get tons of makeup in my eyebrows and then I took the mascara and did my lower lashes lightly and now for the lips I'm using the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick this is in the shade Angelo and like half of the other products in this video I'm using it for the first time as well and it's kind of lighter than my lips so I hate the ring around them because you can kind of see it like when I talk how the inside of my lips are darker but I really like the color and I think it's a pretty light nude. And since I'm calling this a get ready with me, now I'm going to do my hair. Um, I just took a shower and it's a little bit damp and I'm just kind of scrunching it up a little bit with this gel. This is John Frida Frizzy's hair curling styling cream, I think, something like that. And I just kind of put it through my hair and just scrunched it up a little bit just to kind of hold its natural waves and just to make it a little bit more bouncy than it already was. To finish my hair, I took this Herbal Essences Bold to Hold hairspray and just put it all over to um, keep down the frizz on the top, keep my part, and to just hold it. Alright, well that's all for this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Leave suggestions in the comment section. <laughs> and um, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say except for see you next time. Bye guys.